My name is Ronald Cothran, born and raised here in Shreveport. I uh, completed high school from Captain Shree, went on to Gremlin. It was college at that time, that's now Gremlin State University. Worked in the uh, military for 23 plus years. Uh, after retiring from the military, I worked as a director of transportation for the Dayton Public School System. Also, I was an educator, special education, and my last 10 years as a principal. Uh, during this particular time, I had an opportunity to attend the University of Oklahoma, Wright State University, where I was able to uh, complete three master's degrees. The most significant thing I think about that is being able to bring my background from the military where I worked psychiatry primarily, but I was a medic in the United States Army and had the distinction of working for the first Wolf Star, Wolf Star female in the United States military. She was a full bird colonel at the time, but as I followed her uh, path, she went on to be a four star general and it was really uh, a great accomplishment for her and it was on a, working under her as well. I wanted to offer hope to the citizens of District 10, District 8, Caddo Parish in its entirety in Shreveport. The thing is that most of the conversations that I was having with young people and older, everyone kept talking about hope, 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 and particularly they were looking at the younger people here in Shreveport and saying that there was really nothing for them to do. So as a result of that, you know, there were certain things that I want to accomplish. Again, having uh, really not knowing everything about the parish, uh, the thing I've learned most of all is that when the parish and the city works together, we get a lot of things done. In my particular district, we have a particular city role. We have about five city council members, okay? And on different occasions, I work with all five of them to uh, accomplish whatever it was that our constituents wanted or uh, needed to get accomplished. The main thing for me is integrity, voice for the people, transparency. I want every citizen in District 10 and throughout the parish, you know, the thing is sometimes we get caught up on just looking at our respective districts. And one of the things we have to remember, it would be, it would not be good for me to do something in District 10 that would not benefit District 8 or one of the others that would be very selfish on my part. So the thing is, again, when I attempt to do something or bring something to the board, it's for the entirety of the parish and, and prayerfully it would benefit uh, the district that I represent as well. District 10 is very eclectic and it's eclectic from the perspective of the people that uh, makes up the district. I have Eden Garden, I have Cedar Grove, I have Lindbrook, I have Greenbrook, I have Spring Lake, and I have Southern Hills as well. And as you possibly know, the socioeconomic status differs in each one of those communities. The main thing that I look at or think about is that what is needed in each area. There are some things needed maybe in one respective area that's not needed in another. But the biggest thing is that I've been working together and the biggest accomplishment I think to date has been able to bring the uh, neighborhood associations together from Southern Hills and Cedar Grove together. And I'm hoping to do the same thing like in Spring Lake and other areas as well, because once we get on the same sheet of music, we can accomplish a lot as neighborhoods. My favorite thing about Caddo Parish, first and foremost, is the food. <laughs> the, also the parks. And lastly, I would say, uh, not necessarily lastly, but the people. It has really been amazing to me and it's been truly an, a joy as I've met some of my classmates, some of my friends, some of my family members even that I didn't know uh, as a result of being in, in this position. As I traveled throughout this parish and particularly being on some of the tours, like when we went on the um, park tour, it's really amazing what the parish can offer to people once they're aware of what's here in the parish in and of itself. So once again, I would say the food, the parks, and the people. <laughs> Uh, one of the fun facts would probably be really surprising to some people is that I ride a gold wing motorcycle and have been riding for about 15 years. Uh, in addition to that, I am a Sunday school teacher at my church as well. And riding the motorcycle really gives me an opportunity to kind of get away from everything and everybody 
and just kind of, as we say, uh, wind in your hair, which I have none, but again, it's just a saying. It was really amazing to me to find out, uh, based on the U.S. Census of 2020, the number of veterans that's in the parish and within District 10 as well, which is about 7.6%. I find that to be very significant, and that also tells me that a lot of people, be it from the Air Force Base or whatever branch they might be in, find Shreveport to be a great pay place to retire, being that we have an Air Force Base here and we have a lot of uh, amenities that support those that have retired or been through the military system to include the VA hospital as well.